In this video, I'm going to answer the questions, when is the right time to roll out a covered call option, and how exactly should you roll it out? The answers to these questions will enable you to consistently put cash into your account every single month using covered call options. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 22 plus year stock and option trader, as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of this community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other to become more knowledgeable and profitable. In this video, I'm going to show you the simple process I go through to decide when is the right time to roll out a covered call option. Then I'm going to show you exactly how I roll out covered call options using real life trading examples. By the end of this video, you will know when and how to roll your covered call option positions. What is your favorite option trading strategy? Is it covered calls, naked puts, spreads, or is it something else? In the comments below, let me know what your favorite option trading strategy is. Doing covered call option spreads and dividend stocks is my second most favorite way of using options to generate monthly cash flow. One of the reasons why I like it so much is that on top of the option premium you receive by selling covered call options, you also receiving dividends along the way. I'm going to share with you my real life positions that I'm in right now to help you see how I determine when is the right time to roll out a covered call option and exactly how you go about doing that. Here you see one of the positions I'm in right now in the CME group. CME owns monopoly in the derivatives products business. And yes, that includes options, which is what this video is about today. Let me show you the history of my trades in CME. As you can see here in the blue rectangle, I've been selling put options in CME since June 17th. We actually have collected quite a bit of put option premium before the stock was put into our account on November 20th. As you can see then the red rectangle, for selling the November $175 put options, we were paid $9.48 per share. Those were the put options that were actually assigned to us. They were assigned to us, as you can see at the very bottom of the screen on November 20th. As soon as they were assigned to us, we immediately began to sell covered call options against CME, as you can see in the black rectangle. Those options expire on January 15th. For those covered call options, we received $2.30 per share. Notice what's happened since that time. Almost immediately, CME took off, reaching a high of $185 per share last week. I actually don't want CME to be caught away from me. Yes, if it gets caught away from me, then I get to keep the entire covered call option premium. But the reason why I'm hoping that it will not be caught away from me is that as you can see on the screen, CME went X dividend last week on the 9th. As you can see on the far right column, since we own the stock on the X dividend date, we'll receive the 85 cents per share for that dividend. 85 cents at 200 shares equals $170 that we will get just in dividends. That's on top of the covered call option premium we received of $2.30 per share back on November 20th. The reason why I went out to January expiration and not December was partly because of that dividend that I just mentioned. The other reason is that CME is known to pay its owners, us the stockholders, a special dividend. So I wanted to line my position up so that we could hopefully benefit from that special dividend. And as I was preparing for this video, I got notice that that special dividend is coming and it goes X dividend on December 24th. This is a very generous dividend as you can see on the screen is $2.50 per share. The reason why I'm telling you and showing you all this is because this is the big deciding factor and why I sold the January covered call option. And I'm also watching it closely so that I know when it's the right time to roll this covered call position out. If you trade in dividend stocks like I do, knowing when the stock is going X dividend and if there are any special dividends being paid out, it's an important factor that you can use to determine when to roll your covered call options out. CME has already gone X dividend on that quarterly dividend of 85 cents per share. And on the 24th, it'll go X dividend on the $2.50 special dividend. If this option is still at around the same value of $7.85 as you can see here, then most likely the stock would not be called away from me. So I'll be able to receive that special dividend. Because of this, I'm keeping a close eye on how much extrinsic value or time value premium is left in this option. So when should I roll this call option? Well, if I want to keep this position CME, then I need to make sure I roll this covered call option if the extrinsic value or time value of this option is less than the dividend that I will receive. That's an important factor in a dividend paying stock. Here you see another position that I'm currently in. 
It's the famous insurance company Aflac, made famous by their duck mascot and its ticker symbol AFL. As you can see, I currently own 100 shares of Aflac and I sold one contract or 100 shares worth of the January 15th $40 covered call options. Here you see all the trades I've done in Aflac over the past several months. As you can see in the blue rectangle, I began selling put options in Aflac on June the 8th. It almost immediately went in the money for the $40 put option I sold, but I was able to do one roll where I bought to close the July $40 put option on July 7th and sold to open the August $40 put option. There in the red rectangle, you see that 100 shares of Aflac were assigned to me on August 21st at the $40 strike price. In the black rectangle, you see that I immediately started selling covered call options against the 100 shares I owned. In the first line at the black rectangle, you see that on the same day I was assigned the 100 shares of Aflac, August 21st, I sold the November $40 cover call option and received a dollar per share for that. Aflac then proceeded to go up and I bought that call option back for $2.94 on November 16th and sold the January $40 call option for $3.77. So I rolled this option out two months. The reason is that as you can see at the very bottom line, Aflac went ex-dividend in November. So I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of option premium left in that covered call option so the option would not be called away from me if someone wanted to try and capture that dividend. We take a lot of the hard work and time out of finding option trading opportunities for our patrons. And a quick shout out that big thank you to all of our current Patreon members. Thank you for your support. Check out the videos in the link above in the description below where I share with you more of my secret tips and tricks that will help you trade options like a pro. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.